So now that you've seen outer joins and you've seen null, I can show you a little trick to find all the customers that have not made an order. Before I, I showed you that, well, let's just let's just bring it back here. Select customers, see uh, join, or let's do left outer join. I think you just say left join. You could say outer if you want. See left join orders. O on C dot customer ID equal O dot customer ID. Run that, and I believe I did, if I remember right, order by O dot customer ID. And the reason I did O dot customer ID instead of C dot customer ID is because uh, C customer ID, then I'll, I'll get everyone in order here, and I'm, I'm trying to pinpoint the ones with with null customer IDs for their orders. So run this, scroll to the right, and notice SQL Server, it just considers null to be the least of everything, and so so it puts the first two customers without any orders at the top. Well that's fine and dandy, except the problem is I'm visually scrolling through this result set to find out that uh, Diego Roll and Marie Bertrand uh, didn't order anything. I, I wonder if there's a way I could actually write a SQL query to get that. Well, yeah, it's pretty straightforward once you combine the null tricks with the join tricks. Let's say where o dot customer ID uh, equal null. Now hopefully you got a ding 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 going, uh oh, something going off on your head saying, hey, um, Jamie, you just showed me that equal null will always be unknown and thus I'll, I'll get no results for that. So remember, is null. F5, run it. Boom, we have pinpointed the two customers that have not ordered anything from our company. So let's uh, let's send them a mailer and see if we can convince them to to uh, subscribe or, or to actually generate some revenue for our, our uh, fake company.